The Tenet Maximum Exposure Shoulder Positioning System, TMAX for short, was developed five years ago and has had several upgrades during that period. It was designed to solve some of the basic problems that surgeons saw in available devices. The three main issues were, first, access to the shoulder. The T-Max was designed to provide better access and exposure to the shoulder joint and position it as close to the surgeon as possible. The T-Max was designed to fit on the table with the head or leg sections removed or folded down. This allows an assistant to stand directly behind the patient without having to lean over the table. Second, creating a lift assist mechanism. For larger patients, most of the beach chairs that are not integral to the OR table require the staff to lift the patient to the sitting position. This is a very difficult task with larger patients. Third, providing stable positioning so that the patient remains in the same position throughout the surgical case. This is a very important requirement for anesthesia. The procedure to set up the TMAX on an OR table is fairly simple. Ensure that the OR table legs are locked to the floor. Lower or remove the head or foot section of the OR table. Put a Clark clamp on the non-operative side of the table to place the adjustable arm board into. Then place a square rail clamp on each side of the OR table. Place the clamps at least 18 inches from the end of the table. The T-Max is relatively heavy, so two nurses may be required to put the T-Max on the table. Hook the front of the left leg under the rail with the back tab on top of the rail. Then slide the left leg flush against the OR rail. Slide the OR rail clamps over top of the T-Max legs and tighten them in place. For safety, ensure that at least one inch or two and a half centimeters of the back tabs are resting on top of the OR rails. Slide the T-Max frame laterally on the main shaft toward the operative side of the table. To slide the frame, it must be slightly lifted to reduce contact with the shaft. Ensure the OR table pad is securely in place. Slide the shoulder pad away from the operative side of the T-Max to provide maximum exposure to the surgical site. Remove the lateral support from the side of the table that the patient will load from. It is best if the loading side is the operative side as the T-Max is usually pushed to that side. The T-Max has a continuous range of angulation. It can sit at any angle from parallel to the floor to perpendicular to the floor. Simply depress the release mechanism at the back of the T-Max and move the T-Max in the direction desired. The T-Max has gas shocks that provide a constant force for raising the patients. It is especially helpful for those patients that are extremely heavy. The T-Max was created to attempt to position the shoulder as close to the surgeon as possible and position the patient so the surgeon does not have to lean over the OR table to gain the access he or she wants. The shoulder pad will slide to the right or left to expose the patient's shoulder. We recommend gaining exposure to the medial border of the scapula. The lateral supports provide lateral stability so that when the surgeon pulls on the operative arm, the head and body will remain in the initial position. The knee bolster prevents the body from slipping down the OR table. A table strap is provided to secure the patient's legs and prevent translation down the table when they are reclined. The positioning of the headset has great adjustability, which allows a full range of positions and ensures a neutral head position. It can be adjusted up and down and has a double ball and socket joint to allow tilting and rotation. It has an extra adjustment to accommodate the older patients who have severe kyphosis in the neck and back. The stability of the patient and maintaining a clear airway are primary concerns of the anaesthetist with beach chair procedures. We designed the T-Max so that the body would remain in one position throughout the case. The disposable face mask is designed to keep the patient's airway in a neutral position and ensure that the head remains still throughout the procedure. It also helps control the head for slight rotation or tilting when attempting to gain better access to the shoulder during surgery. Tenet recommends seating the patient and ensuring access to the surgical site is ideal before intubating. The patient can be moved from the stretcher to the OR table in a sitting position. The patient should be slid over to the operative side of the OR table and be seated on the T-Max with their buttocks against the lower back pad. Place the knee bolster underneath the patient's legs and sheets so that it wedges the patient's back against the lower back pad. Do not tilt the OR table back 
to use gravity to slide the patient against the T-Max. The operative shoulder should be positioned with the posterior access needed for the surgical case. Access to the medial border of the scapula is usually required. There are two headsets available for use with the T-Max. Either the intubation pad or the surgical headset can be used for intubation. The intubation pad can only be used during intubation. It provides a flatter and larger surface for intubating the patient that simulates using an OR table. If the surgical headset is used for intubation, the staff must understand how the patient slides when being reclined and inclined on a beach chair. The patient may slide up to two inches. When reclining the patient, the headset should be positioned on the patient's neck so that when the patient is fully reclined, the head will be in the center of the pad. If the intubation pad is used, it is inserted into the T-Max before surgery. It is tightened into place so that the pad is a continuation of the T-Max sliding pad. The patient is reclined to supine and the intubation can take place in the same manner as usual. The patient's arms are secured by widening the lateral supports and placing the upper arms alongside the body and crossing the lower arms over the patient's lap. Once the patient is intubated, the anaesthetist controls the patient's head while the T-Max is raised to a sitting position. If the intubation pad is used, it is tilted as far back as possible and pulled out of the forward slide collar. The surgical headset is then slid into place. The surgical headset is then adjusted to put the patient's head in a neutral position. The disposable mask is placed over the patient's face and tightened. Ensure that the mask is not applying pressure on the patient's eyes and that the pressure is evenly distributed on the face. Do not over tighten the straps on the mask. The patient's arms are then taken out of the lateral supports and the arm board is inserted into the Clark clamp on the non-operative side. The arm board is placed parallel to the table directly under the arm which provides great access for the anaesthetist. The patient is now positioned and ready for prepping and draping for the surgical procedure. If you do uh, shoulder uh, procedures in the beast chair position, the T-Max is really the ideal positioning uh, apparatus uh, for that uh, position. It provides excellent stability for head control uh, during the procedure, G gives excellent body control for the patient so you don't have to worry about movement. And during the case, uh, if you're doing arthroscopic procedure, you have excellent access as the shoulder's close by and you have uh, wonderful abilities to get both anterior and posterior for doing all of your operative work.